Hello, hello developers, creators, and welcome to API Flow educational channel. So in this video today, we will uh, discuss how we can create and uh, connect to Flutterfall and use free MongoDB backend, MongoDB database. Uh, it's useful if you're building new application and you are in some testing mode or you evaluate the idea or you have a very small project and you are not require very uh, big database and uh, some like production ready database. And also in case if you evaluate Flutterful because every day a new new developers join this great platform, uh, join Flutterful. So what we will use today, we will use today a MongoDB Atlas. It's a cloud MongoDB hosting from creators of MongoDB. It's very nice. It's very nice working. It's very simple to use and simple to create. And it allows you to create a free tire database in your project. You can create a free that database and use it unlimited amount of time it just will be limited by uh by resources that you can use so it's limited by storage and it limited by virtual server but it's very very efficient if you are creating a small app or just testing some things so uh it's very good start so i created my mongodb already and what i will do next i want to connect a mongodb to photo for application i have very simple very small uh tasks to do application sample and to connect uh, MongoDB, I will use API Flow. So I create a new project in API Flow. I select MongoDB as service to connect. Next, what I need to do, I need to create MongoDB connection. So I click create MongoDB connection. If you have own server, you will need to paste data here, like server address, IP, MongoDB server port, uh, username, and password. I use at last and so i will go to at last click connect and i will use compass uh, sample uh, connection string and i will paste it here now api flow parsed connection string and filled all data for me so what i need to do i only need to fill password because it's placeholder for security reasons so i put my password and now i save connection next i can select a database to use i can manage corrections i want to use and publish my integration now i download api definition and next i can go to flutterflow and import this open api definition and next all my collections, all data available in MongoDB will be uh, connected to Flutterfall and I can use them. What I only need to do, I only need to put authorization header here. So if you have Flutterfall Pro account, you can already use these uh imported api group and uh, you can watch our other videos about how to use mongodb with waterfall but during next steps i will focus on scenarios of if i have free tire of waterfall so i cannot use api groups i will use api calls individual api calls so to create individual api call we need to create a custom flow in api flow i create a new custom flow in my project i will call it query tasks query tasks next i will copy my endpoint go here click add create api call i will name it query tasks same as in api flow 
paste my endpoint. Next, I will copy authorization header, add it here, save my call, go to response and test, and send my test call. So here I have my test call already arrived. Next, what I need to do, I need to select operation. By default, it's query many documents from collection. And next, I need to select my connection to server and database I will use. And collection I will use with this custom flow. I will use tasks collection. So now I can publish my integration and query it again. And I will have all data here. We can also filter our request. If you want, we can go and create a variable. Call it, for example, filter string. Or we can, OK, call it. Let's, uh, let's use status use status we want to filter by status and for example we can use status in progress so to refresh our fields here we need to click receive new data in api flow and send test api call again now we will receive our Okay, sorry, we don't put our variable. We need to put it in query, for example, specific value, not value, but from variable, variable status. Okay, now we need to go here, receive new data, send API, and we received it here. So we mapped variable to query and received it here. And next, what we need to do, we want to filter our document by status and use status field from here. So we publish our quest, test our API call, and now we receive only in progress, in progress items. Next, what we want to do, we want to map our response data to some data type. This is useful uh, when you want to use data in your UI to connect it to UI components and uh, it simplify work with data very much. So I will create a new data type called task and we'll create fields of, for ID, title, status, and you add fields. We are all strings, you can have different data. So we have all this data here. We have our API call and we will mark that we want to parse result of this API call to task and this result is a list. We will save it. And now we go to our UI elements and we will bind this query to our UI element. So we will select list view, we will select add query, add query, we will use API call query, we'll use query tasks, we'll set additional variable status in progress confirm and now we have our backend query connected to this list and now we can use it to generate dynamic children we select query tasks response as data type no changes save and we will name this variable tasks Save it. Now all elements here will be generated from our database. So we connect our task name to task item 
data structure field title and do add we will combine text we have text do add and we will combine it with tasks item like data structure field do add confirm and save it now we can select now we can query our tasks from database and we can see them in our application but what i want to do i want to show you how to actually save data into a database so we have button here this button already configured to navigate to create task screen and we have here task description task title description and do add field and we will create another api call to connect another API call, we need to go to our project and create another custom flow. We will call it create task. Save. And now we will copy endpoint here. Add API call create task method post. And header, we need to add security header. Add call. Next, what we need to do is we want to send title. We want to send description. And we want to send uh, status. And we want to send you add. We will create a variables for for this. We save our work. Always better to save. We will select a body. A body. We need to use body as JSON, and we will select title. We will send description. We will send status and we will send view add as our fields. Okay, save it and now we can test it. So we we'll have some task title description just some various status in progress and you add for example date okay now we send test API you receive test responses our as our flow is not full configured yet but you already can see data here so we will next we will select insert document as operation for MongoDB, we'll choose MongoDB account, MongoDB database, tasks collection, and next we want to map our fields, so we will place cursor in title, duet, click field here, status, progress, and description we have here. We also want and can add a new field. We also can delete fields if we, we don't need them. So we actually can manage full full structure of our record. We will send to that collection. So we will publish our integration now and we'll go to Flutterflow and test it again. And we received Result, we inserted a new task. Actually, we already inserted it into database with our API call. And we also will say that we want to parse data result to task, just in case if you want later to do something with this data. So now what we will do, we need to send data from these, uh, from these controls, from these fields into our MongoDB database. So we will create an action on top on button and we will create action 
that we will do API call backend, uh, create task and additional variable title from widget state title, and additional variable description from widget state description, and additional, additional variable duet from widget state date picked. And we want to format date time, for example, like this. We just need date. And we will put status in progress. And next, what we need to do, we will navigate to our home page after we created a task. So great, we prepared our application and now we will launch a test and we'll see how it, how it works. So I remind you what we did. We created a new database, new free database in MongoDB Atlas. It's free MongoDB hosting, uh, like it have free and it have paid plans, but we used free cluster for educational purposes, for development purposes. We created a two custom flows in API flow, one to query task, another to create task. And then we connected it to API calls inside the Flutter flow, connect two API calls is available even in free plan. So you can do it for free with Flutter flow. And we created also data type called task. We mapped our results to it and we connected two pages. One will show list of tasks, another one will allow us to create a new task. Let's see how it looks like in our application. Takes a moment to load, but hope it will be ready. Yeah, it's ready. And as you can see, we have tasks here shows us task of list of tasks and now we will create a new task we select our fields then we will pick tomorrow and we pick save and it's saved and as you can see it saved to our database and it sucked the game so this is demo how you can create for free, connect and use MongoDB with Flutterfall. I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed recording it, to be honest, because Flutterfall and all other no-code instruments are progressing every day. Let me know if you have any questions, if you have any suggestions, let me know what services you think will be useful also to cover in our videos, to create modules for, we're working on much more services. Please check other videos in our channel and thank you. Have a nice day.